keep it low down, no doubt. Hit that like, subscribe, and comment below. What's good, fam bam? Welcome back to another episode of Loked Out TV. Y'all already know how we do it. We're going to keep it loked out, no doubt, for real. Coming at you with another loked out banger. And this one right here, we got a story coming from Calhoun, Georgia. But check it out. Before we jump all the way up into the video, first of all, I got to send my condolences to the family for their loss. Prayers going out to y'all, man, for real. Also, if you haven't hit that like, that subscribe, or that notification bell, it'd be highly appreciated if you did so. Also, if you want to level up in the game, hit the comment section and talk your sh. Because that's exactly what the comment section is there for. Now, that being said, we got this situation, man. Calhoun, Georgia. We got a youngster with a weapon. We got an older individual. And they get into an argument, right? All this allegedly, this is all from news clips. And I do have a clip coming your way in the video. All that, right? So... Just a little backstory. They get in an argument, and apparently, instead of uh, fighting it out or, or situating it with words or however the case may be, gunshots ring out, man. And, and an individual loses their life. Now, in the area, I think this makes uh, this makes like number eight. Number seven, no, number seven, right, in a week, probably less than a week, for sure less than two weeks, number seven, uh, and unfortunately, it's all been youngsters, well, the individuals that lost his life, he was older, but, in this story, but, at the end of the day, man, it's all been youngsters that's either losing their lives, or they're taking lives right now, right, all youngsters, man, all teenagers, Ranging from 21 to 16 at this point. No, 14. My bad. 14 because of the Appalachian. So now it's it done went down to 14, you know. Um, it's crazy, man. Once again, this goes back to this goes back to idiots with guns. You know, that's exactly what this goes back to. Idiots with guns. Idiots, young youngsters. Young idiots with guns, may I also say, you know, hot-headed youngsters with guns that uh, they don't want to fight. They ain't trying to. They ain't trying to do all this. They ain't trying to do that, man. They just want to blast. They want some. They they want to blast, man. They want to end a person's life, and they want to end their life in the process of ending a life. You know, it's crazy. It's wild. It is what it is, though. You know, I'm from the 90s, so gunplay and, and all that, it isn't new to me. But also, I can say one thing about coming up in the era that I came up in. At least we would squabble. At least we would go at it with baseball bats. At least we would go at it with brass knuckles. At least we would. You know, you have some knives pulled out. I've been stabbed a couple times myself. You know, you got some knives to come out, but at least we would squabble. At least it wasn't all about the gunplay. Now, the gunplay did happen on a regular basis, and it was there, you know, and it happened, and it is what it is. But you did have squabbles, and you did have situations where you had to handle your own, you know what I'm saying? Nowadays, these youngsters, it just doesn't seem like they trying to, you know... It, it, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know why they can't just handle business. You know, this is an older individual. I don't know what the argument was about. You know, allegedly, all this alleged. Like I said, all this is just from news clips I'm seeing. I'm not. I don't, I'm not coming at you with no insider information. This is all from the news. But it was an older individual you got an argument with, and it just hot-headed youngsters, man, wanting to blast somebody. So. I don't know, man. Y'all drop a comment below and let me know what y'all think about the situation. Like I said, man, I came up in the 90s shooting and all that. It's nothing new. You know, all this, it's just it's just crazy to me that uh, you don't really hear about youngsters wanting to squabble up no more, man. It's just like they, they want to, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they got going on, man. But anyways, man, 
like I said, one life lost and a whole nother life lost. You know, either way, there's no winners in the situation. And uh, it's crazy. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump to the clip. I won't be back after the clip. So check it out, y'all. I hope y'all enjoy the video. Much love, much respect. Big shout out to the fan, bam. You already know how we do it. We're going to keep it loped out, no doubt, for real. And here's that clip. Authorities are still piecing together what led to a man being shot and killed outside of a Gordon County apartment complex. It happened around 11 last night in Calhoun at the Carriage Apartments. That's less than a mile west of the I-75 interchange with Redbud Road. Calhoun police say an argument happened between two men when one of them identified as 17-year-old Lowell Yancey pulled out a gun. It's believed he then shot James Kenzie twice, then ran away. Yancey was later arrested and charged with murder. The GBI has been called in to help with the investigation. Locked out TV, thought you knew. Keep it G and keep it fly. Locked out merch, you 